Let us talk about melting and boiling point. You know, melting point or boiling point both are directly proportional to metallic bonding or covalent bonding between metal and metal which in turn proportional to roughly proportional to number of unpaired metal. That's why when we compare you can see when we go from scandium it almost increases there is a slight decrease but there is a increase almost and then there is a dip for manganese and then it further increases and then decreases and zinc has lowest melting and boiling point so let us discuss first prime series in first prime series up to the mid number of unpaired electron increases so metallic bonding increases and so is the melting and boiling point but as pairing starts number of unpaired electron decreases and so is the melting and boiling point because where as unpaired electrons decreases metallic bonding become weaker and if metallic bonding weakens what happens melting and boiling point decreases for zinc boiling is lowest because in zinc as per its electronic configuration it is d10 means it has no unpaired electron that's why its metallic bonding is weakest that's why its melting point as well as boiling point both are least why for manganese there is a dip in melting point curve because in case of manganese it is 3d 5 4s2 exactly half filled d and fully filled s that's why it has a stable electronic configuration so electrons are less willing to participate in metallic bonding so its metallic bonding is weak and that's why melting and boiling points are less same is the case in second prime series for technetium there is a dip for the same reason as for manganese cadmium has lowest melting and boiling point for the same reason because of fully filled d configuration d10 and mercury zinc cadmium and mercury has lowest melting and boiling point because they have no unpaired electron that's why their metallic bonding is weak and melting and boiling point is least because of weakest metallic bonding and melting point of mercury is so low that it is a liquid at room temperature so recap of the concept melting and boiling point depends on metallic bonding and metallic bonding in turn roughly depends on number of unpaired electrons first number of unpaired electron increases first number of unpaired electrons increases melting point increases melting and boiling point increases then pairing starts number of unpaired electron decreases so metallic bonding becomes weak and melting and boiling point decreases and for zinc cadmium mercury they have no unpaired electron d10 configuration that's why their metallic bonding is weakest and melting and boiling point is lowest and why there is a dip for manganese or technetium because they have stable electronic configuration they have weak 
metallic bond thank you very much for watching this video do like subscribe and share my channel god bless you all happy learning